The major problem relativity solves is how to explain and understand motion from different perspectives, and in particular, from different moving perspectives. Let's say there is a person standing stationarily, watching his dog walking away from him at a constant speed. If we take snapshots every second, then we can get the dog's positions at different times. Stacking all these snapshots gives us the space-time diagram of the person and his dog. The lines that represent their journeys are called world lines. The question we're interested in is what do things look like from different moving perspectives? To answer this question, we first need to understand how to determine from what perspective a particular space-time diagram is drawn. When someone draws a space-time diagram from their own perspective, on that diagram, they're always located at position x equals zero, since his position is not changing at all. In other words, if your world line leaves x equals zero and goes anywhere else, that means you're moving relative to the perspective of that particular space-time diagram, and thus it's not your perspective. Here we can see that the world line of the dog is diagonal, while the world line of the person is vertical, so it means this space-time diagram is drawn from the person's perspective. The angle of the world line represents the speed of the object. 90 degree slope means zero speed and zero degree slope means infinite speed. If we scale the space axis to give each unit a length of 299,792,458 meters, which is the distance that light travels in a second, then the world line of light will always have a 45 degree slope. To describe how things look from the dog's perspective, we need to find a way to transform the space-time diagram that makes the world line of the dog into a straight vertical line through x equals zero. We can simply shift each snapshot horizontally along the space axis until the dog's world line is completely vertical. This transformation is known as Galilean transformation. It shifts the speed of all objects, including light, equally. No velocity remains unchanged after the Galilean transformation. However, physicists have built up tons of experiments to show that no matter the light is shot from a stationary person or a moving train, its speed relative to the ground is always the same. Luckily, there is another transformation that can accommodate the constant speed of light. It performs a kind of squeeze rotation to the space-time diagram which leaves the speed of light unchanged, even while it changes all other speeds. This transformation is known as the Lorentz transformation. Different from the Galilean transformation, Lorentz transformation moves different objects along hyperbolas rather than horizontal lines. The asymptote of those hyperbolas amazingly becomes the world line of light, which never changes during the transformation. Other than shifting the objects, Lorentz transformation also applies the same amount of tilt to both time and space axes. At the same time, the snapshots of those objects are spaced out along their world lines. That means the length unit and time intervals among those snapshots are changing along with the moving perspectives, which is entirely unintuitive from our everyday experience. For a long time, People believe space is evenly distributed and time ticks the same for everyone everywhere. However, Lorentz transformation tells us space and time are related and behave differently for observers moving at different speeds and at different locations. As the speed of objects increases, length will contract and time will slow down which is the typical physical phenomenon of special relativity. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to this channel.